first one was kind of slow walking you down here. Yeah. Hi everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today is the day after my surgery and I'm doing really well. I'm actually down. Uh, Bill is doing his exercises. So I am down at our park. I just walked down here with him and sat on a bench. I have my blankie wrapped around me to keep me warm. He's off doing his exercises. So I just thought I would do a quick video and just kind of let you know how everything went yesterday and how I'm doing. Um, as most of you know, one of the things I was the most concerned about was the anesthesia and waking up and how it was going to make me feel. Sorry, one of my eyes is watering out here. And so when the anesthesiologist came in, the first thing I noticed was that his name tag said Brian Johnson. And for those of you that don't know, that's my brother's name. So that definitely put me at ease. And then the next thing he told me is that he works in the pediatric department at one of the hospitals. That of course put me at ease as well because he works with children all the time. I know that he's used to working with smaller little tiny people and making sure that he gives them the right amount of anesthesia. It all went well. Um, the place that I went, I ended up getting um, taken in right when Bill dropped me off. They put me on a heated gurney with blankets and oh my gosh, it was so cozy, so comfortable, and so nice. And everyone there was really, really wonderful. I mean, it just was the greatest. And I'm telling you, I had such little pain. I mean, I'm in pain, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely reasonable. And I just think it has to do with how gentle my doctor must have been. Um, I went to, as you know, Renuance, but I had Dr. Rachel Ford do my surgery. And I think because she was just so gentle, it's making it easier for me to heal. I had a painful but a pretty good day yesterday. And then um, last night I went to bed, I took a Tylenol. I went to bed at about 11.30 and I slept all the way till five o'clock without waking up at all, which was great. I woke up at five o'clock and my tummy was rumbling because it was so hungry, um, but I was able to sleep off and on for a couple more hours and I got up um, with Bill at about 7.30 and went downstairs and he made me some breakfast and um, now I'm down at the park while he's doing his exercises. So soon we're gonna have to leave and go to my post-op appointment and um, we'll let you know how that goes. Here he comes. I'm dying, but not as bad as you. That's okay, you're getting healthy, honey. Good job. One of the other things I wanted to tell you guys that um, was really, really nice is I got a really nice call from my doctor last night. I think it was about 6 or 6.30. She was just calling to check on me to see how I was doing, uh, make sure I didn't have any questions, and um, that was comforting. She actually st sat on the phone with me for a few minutes and she was very, very happy to hear that I was doing so well. So I'm looking forward to seeing her again later this morning and um, letting her know how well I'm doing. All right. Not yet, but it's getting there. You get, any, you get your stuff recorded you want it? Yeah. Here he comes. Let's see if he can hear us. Total distance two miles. Total time twenty nine minutes and eighteen seconds. Split pace thirteen minutes forty four seconds per mile. Pause. Awesome, honey. You did good. Woo! I hate to wake her. Hey, baby doll. Oh, that was easy to wake you. You have to go to your 1045 appointment. Do you want to go? No. But I gotta go. How are you feeling? Pretty after good. after your walk to the park and back? It's because I'm if I'm laying really still, I really don't have much pain. But when I start moving, I can feel it again. So as soon as I go to sit up, I'm gonna start feeling it. This thing is wonderful. It's like a lifesaver. I'm so glad you suggested that I get that honey bunny. I drank all my juice. Good. 
Okay, here I go. How's your tummy? Gurgling. It's got to be the antibiotic. I hope she says I don't have to take it anymore because it's really, really gurgly. Okay, let's go. Let's go ask her. Okay. What can I do to help you? Mm, nothing yet. Do you think you could like wash my hair? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Okay. Use the. It's what I live for. Use the strawberry one. I want that one. Okay. So your major problem is not even your surgery, it's now your tummy. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you never really even take Tylenol, so I wonder if taking this extra strength Tylenol, but I think it's the antibiotic because it started. Yeah, it feels like it's the antibiotic. Okay. Maybe, if I had to guess. I have good strong legs, it's helpful. <laughs> That just, I can just like do everything with my legs. She has to T-Rex everywhere. She has no arms. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we're here for my post-op appointment. Let's head inside. All let's right. See how everything's going. You're more nervous at the doctor. I know, because I just want to make sure everything looks, she's going to check it out and make sure everything looks okay, so. All right. It's really a nice office around here. It really is very nice. So I just finished up with my appointment, my post-op appointment. She said everything looks really good. We stopped off at Rite Aid and we got a digital thermometer. And I also got a probiotic. It's Ultimate Flora Probiotic. 20 billion live cultures and 10 probiotic strains um, to help my tummy hopefully do a little bit better with taking the antibiotic because I do have to take the antibiotic. So I'm going to take it. So now we have stopped at Little Caesars so I can get a delicious pizza for lunch. I want some right now. Look at her, she can carry a pizza. Like, yeah, it smells so good, I want to eat it right now. <laughs> Yummy. We'll be home shortly. Yep. I got from my doctor, first of all, a really nice thank you note, thanking me for trusting her to be my surgeon. And then I got two gift certificates. One for a complimentary breast whisperer bra, and one for two free Auxilla underarm laser hair removal treatments, which is a $200 value, free. And a free bra. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, let's awesome. go home. Okay. All right, everybody, so we've made it home. I'm enjoying my delicious pizza, and I'm going to eat a couple more pieces then I'm going to head upstairs for a nap. Before that though, I'm gonna to have to take my probiotic, my antibiotic, and a Tylenol. So I really hope that my videos, I've been getting a lot of messages from some of you that are getting ready to have this breast augmentation surgery as well. And I hope that my videos are encouraging to you, especially because I haven't had to take any of the prescription pain medication that was prescribed to me. The only thing I've had to take is Tylenol, and I have done just fine on the Tylenol. So for any of you out there that are afraid of taking the pain medication or concerned about how bad the pain is gonna be, it is painful, but it's definitely manageable even with just Tylenol. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to Oh, I wanna add something. Okay, add something. So Lisa has only been 24 hours, 25 hours, mm -hmm. since the surgery was completed yesterday. Yeah. So, and look at her, she's up and about. And eating and walking. I went to my appointment, no problem. I'm doing really good. So don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!